Meghan Markle has made headlines after she'd been announced to be a guest on Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show in an apparent mix-up, and a raw critic believed the confusion was down to Markle asking to be the lone guest. Meghan was originally scheduled to appear on the NBC show at the end of September to promote her podcast archetypes, but it was cancelled due to the respect of the late Queen, who passed away earlier in the month. On Monday, an announcement was made on NBC's website stating Meghan would appear on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on December the 7th. However, Omid Scobie immediately reacted by debunking the claim. Looks like someone at NBC didn't get the memo. Despite an announcement via their various PR channels, Meghan isn't scheduled to appear on The Tonight Show, he tweeted. And in the latest turn of events, the broadcaster clarified that it was inaccurately reported and confirmed Meghan will not appear on the show on December the 7th. Earlier today, it was inaccurately reported that Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, would be appearing on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on December the 7th, the NBC rep said. Royal commentator Neil Sean weighed in his opinion and said, it wasn't necessarily about agreed and not agreed, and then disappearing. It was truly about the fact that there seems to be some discrepancies over the appearance popping up on the ill-rated NBC show. He claimed that a good source told him that Meghan allegedly wants to be the Greta Garbo on the show as the lone guest. Apparently, she thinks her status is enough to hold the show, he continued. Normally, say if you're a superstar like Barbara Streisand, Madonna, Andrea Bocelli, someone with supreme talent that can actually offer something, it might be invigorated, but really, a full show? A full show of Meghan Markle wittering on and then everyone else deciphering what's true and what's not true, apart from the introduction, no doubt. Neil then suggested that the show was to prop up Meghan's podcast, Archetypes, which has come down to the lower region of the top 100 podcasts. Either way, it appears that NBC may give in to this particular request, he concluded. Various polls conducted over the past two years have shown a fluctuating verdict on the popularity of the Harkles. Speaking on Sky News Australia, commentator Kristen Tate revealed that a recent poll shows a sharp decline in Meghan's popularity in the US. Miss Tate told Sky News Australia, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have done so much to really try and destroy the royal family. Speaking of Meghan, she added, Here in the US, when they came here, Meghan was quite popular. You could see that in the polls. She added, Now public opinion polls show that Americans are turning their backs on her. Meghan's just so obnoxious and doesn't know when to just be quiet. She added, Some things are better kept quiet. It's just not classy how she's airing all of this dirty laundry and complaining about the royal family. It's really not a good look and people are starting to turn on her. Speaking of the UK, the commentator also added that so many people in England are happy and the UK are happy to see them gone. Earlier in 2022, it was revealed in a YouGov poll that the number of Americans who view Meghan favourably had declined by up to 32% over the past year. To go alongside the decrease in popularity, the poll pointed out that many Americans were baffled as to how the Markles kept the royal titles. To go alongside the decrease in popularity, the poll pointed out that many Americans were baffled as to how Markle had kept a royal title despite no longer being a senior working royal.